What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Otto Wileen. Otto Wileen says that he wasn't happy about one contract detail for Anthony Joshua. Otto Wileen has been speaking ahead of his huge clash with British heavyweight Anthony Joshua. The fight will be on the 23rd of December, as we know, and Wileen had this to say about one thing in the contract that he does not like. He said, if it was up to me, it wouldn't be there. Of course, I can't say I was particularly happy about it. He did admit it was a calculated risk, however. He said, if I beat Anthony Joshua twice, I should be in line to fight for pretty much any title. I'm currently in a really good position in the IBF. So I could have waited and maybe fought for the IBF title, but we got this opportunity that we felt was really good. And if I beat Anthony Joshua once, I can beat him again. Those are the words of Otto Violet and let me counterpunch. He's referring to the rematch clause. And rematch clauses, you know, they slow the progression down in boxing. You know, when you beat somebody, good. Good for you. You won. You're the victor. Move on. No rematch, no favoritism. Let's kill all the A-side stuff, but get real, this is boxing, okay? If he beats AJ, yes, it's a business move from Team AJ that, yeah, it's going to be a rematch clause. That's why Andy Ruiz had to fight Joshua again because that rematch clause is there for a reason, okay? You can't hate the player, hate the game. Now, I take my hat off to Otto Eileen because... He's hungry. He wanted that fight. He wanted the Dillian White fight. He wanted the Tyson Fury rematch. He wanted AJ all last year, all this year. And now he has him. And I'm glad that patience and um, perseverance finally pays off for him. And I hope to see one hell of a fight with Otto Vailene versus Anthony Joshua. Now, um, if I'm Otto Eileen, I could I could definitely respect that. Because, you know, you have AJ that has been beaten by Alexander Usyk. He's the champ. AJ is not the champ. So why should you fight AJ again? So I understand Otto Eileen. You know, if he does due diligence and beats AJ and AJ is tentative or lost two or three steps or not in his prime no more, hey, we're going to find out. And if he does beat him, then, well, damn, let the man run away with his pot of gold. But it just doesn't work like that. And I'll say this, you know, he wasn't happy about the contract. Be happy you got the fight. You know, I think him saying I'm not happy about the rematch clause now is just his way of saying something. And it's a safe, it's a safe time to say, hey, I'm not happy about this. You know, but I guarantee you he wouldn't dare say that shit before he signed the contract with AJ. Because, you know, that could be a detractor. You know, they could always bring somebody else in. So now I think he's just playing it or picking a safe time to say, you know what? I'm really not happy about it. I'm fighting him now. Too late. Ha! Right? But I do understand that. But you signed the contract. You took the sacrifice. And that's one of the sacrifices. That's one of the stipulations of fighting and beating AJ, you got to fight him again. AJ will have another saga. Ruiz, then Usyk, now Otto Vailin, possibly. I doubt it, though. You know, but I think, you know, him saying, well, hey, if I can beat him once, I can beat him again. Well, hey, I think you need to keep that energy, and then I don't think it's really relevant to even bring up that. I'm not pretty much happy about it, but hey, be confident in yourself. If you can beat him, once you can beat him again, right? Okay. So, you know, I think that really this statement from Otto Vailene is really unnecessary though, because that's what he signed up for. That's what it is. You guys tell me what you think of Otto Vailene saying that he's not happy about something in the contract that he signed. <laughs> of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.